This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Alleluia Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today and forever. Just as it was in Scripture, His power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. Lord God,
give you glory, we give you praise. We honor you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We love to love you, Lord. Yes, Father. We thank you for your spirit. Jesus. We thank you for this time. Mm. We thank you for your word. Yes, Lord. We thank you for our lives. You will do good today in Jesus' name. I receive Somebody it. Somebody give him glory, give him praise. Hallelujah. We honor you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Now, what we we'll do that, we thank God for, I see my precious son, Pastor Rodney, right there. Did you Hallelujah. see that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise will never be the same again. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Ooh, God will do it for you and I. I receive. I say God, not man. I say God. God. G-O-D. I receive I say it. God. Your source is God. Yes. God will do it in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. What is it that you see that this year holds for you? Never thought about it. Why? I'm not sure. Why? By now you must know clearly what the Lord has vested in this year 2024. Mm. I just happen to be here. I don't know exactly. You gotta know exactly what is it that God has set in motion for you in this year. Jesus. Now ask again, what is it that this year holds for you? MFB. Is there anything that you are perceiving? Jesus. What are you seeing? Mm. You can't move unless you see. Mm. Glory to Jesus. Your seeing here has a little to do with your eyes inside. Mm. It has to do with your vision. Yes. The vision that God has given you the grace to have in the spiritual realm. Mm. Sometimes there is a conflict with your eyes, between your eyes and your vision. Mm. Because your eyes may speak to your reality, inspire your reality, present your reality. And your spirit is showing you what God is setting for you. The truth. Thank you, Jesus. And truth and reality sometimes do not work together. What is it that you're seeing? Hey, my, what are you seeing? Mm. You can't lead anybody if you're not seeing anything. You can't just be here. Is it tragedy? What are you perceiving? You can only receive what you perceive. Right. If you cannot perceive it, you can't receive it. Jesus. In the last day, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The Bible says, you young men shall see. See the Holy Spirit poured out in the last day beyond shaking us will cause us to see. I receive it. What is it that you see? You gotta see it. I see a book being written. I see a new album in the market. I see a house being built. 
Mm. I see sons and daughters coming in a greater number in the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus. I see businesses rising up mm. from the righteous. I see the glory of God manifested. You gotta see it to have it. Yes. Lift your hand, pray for vision. Pray that God may anoint your spiritual eyes. That God may put oil right on your eyes. That you may see Jesus. what the Lord wants you to see. So you may have what God said for you to have. Lord, I want to be able to see. Yes, to Lord. see in the Holy Ghost. To see in faith. What is for me in this season? I want to be able to see, oh God. Yes, Lord. I want to see my miracle. I want to see my deliverance. Mm. I want to see my breakthrough. I want to see your word manifested in my Jesus. life. I want to see. Lord, I want to see. I want to see my marriage. I want to see my wedding day. Yes, Lord. I want to see my child. I want to see the day of my testimony. I want to see it, oh God. Anoint my eyes. Oh God. Spirit of the living God, anoint my eyes. Yes, Lord. I want to see green pastures. I want to see where you're taking me. I will see. I want to see what you want me to see. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Yes, Lord. Anoint my eyes to see. In the name of I Jesus. I want to see, I want to see, Lord, I want to see. I want to see so I may be who you call me to be. Yes, I want to see your goodness. I want to see your grace. Greatness. I want to see your glory. Oh, I want to see your power. I want to see, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hand. When you lift your hand here, you are called to be a leader. You are born to lead men, Amen. to lead women. The resources that God has set aside for you is because of your assignment. Yes. A weak assignment does not need or require great resources. Mm. You do not need a gun just to kill a mosquito mm. a gun is for an adversary that is bigger define yourself in your assignment you will attract the right thing in your life mm. never define yourself in the right thing the big things it will never come you will chase it for the rest of your life it will not come Great anointing is never for show. It is always to fulfill an assignment. I receive it. Sanctify yourself for an assignment. Dedicate yourself to an assignment. Commit yourself to do what God called you to do. The anointing will come to you. Because what qualifies you is your mission. Yes. Your mission dictated who you are right now because before he created you, he identified the mission. Mm. The mission that required you to be you, to look the way you look, to come from the family you came from, to go through the training of life that you have been through. Your mission is bigger than you. It defines your purpose. Lord, give me a car. It will never come if you do not understand your mission. Lord, use me. Give me power. Lord, I want to be a blessing. Lord, I want to reach the souls out there. Lord, define yourself in your assignment. A man whose assignment is over, his life is not needed anymore. My God. The day your mission ends, you should depart from hell. Elf. If you do not depart from earth after your mission, you become not only a burden, you become a destruction tool of the enemy. Right. Some people are here for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, whatever the case may be. When we say you will not die, we say before your time. Jesus' time was 33 years old. If he lived one more year, he would have messed us up. 
Learn to enjoy. See the mystery of your assignment. A man who runs away from his assignment because it's too hard, it is uncomfortable, it is inconvenient, is a man who has lowered himself to nothing. Oh Lord. Nothing. As you pray this year, Lord, use me. Lord, show your power. Lord, attack me there. Lord, whatever. You are positioning yourself to receive this. Amen. Mm. If you want double the anointing that is in that person, you should be ready to carry double his burden. Jesus. Or else you're wasting your time. God won't give it to you. He won't trust you with it. Your best bet in life is work. Your best bet is mission. Do you know why you are you? God could have created you a bird. He could have created you a nice bird. A parrot. But he did not. He chose to make you you. In this time. He could have caused you to be born 40 years earlier. No, now. Because there is an assignment that calls a you in this season. Jesus, I receive this word. If you say, oh God, this year, I want to empty hell and fill up heaven. This is my plan. I will feed the orphans. I will bring people to church. I will empty it. Whenever you're speaking, you define yourself in work, never in good, never in Lord giving money. Then I will do it. Never worked. You know those people? Sometimes we promise God, Lord, give me a million dollars. Mm, I will save you. It would never come. <laughs> Resources does not come before the mission. God gives you a vision and he provides for the vision. Provision comes for the vision. When there is no vision, provision is not required. Now I told you, my assignment is here to sacrifice. I'm telling you my mission. I'm not telling you my glory. I don't even mind it. I don't mind what I'll get. Do you understand? I see a good medical doctor that I love here because I'm impressed by his wisdom and his insight in things. You, you are a medical doctor to solve problems. And as you keep on solving problems, you define yourself in your mission. They will tell you how much you came in. When you focus on mission, you focus on what you have to do. Your blessing is in your work. Let me tell you, I receive. those who are staying home when we are laboring in the presence of God have lowered themselves. When we are in home cells, those who are playing cheeky cheeky, they feel like a, running a home cell is filling up a paper and writing rubbish there or where we were. So, and there is no work, just no. No matter how hard they scream, life is concrete, it's dynamic. Wait for them next year, same place. Not because God did not want them to progress, but because the dynamics of life requires you to fulfill certain things. There are boxes to be ticked. Mm. Everyone selling tomatoes who want to sell more tomatoes, but not everybody is getting the place of selling more tomatoes. Why? Why is it that his business is more successful than your business? The amount of work work here mission if you focus to be a good mother just that a reward will follow without you pushing for it it will follow i receive it if you want to be a good wife or a good husband the rest will follow if you and i decide to be good citizens the rest will follow seek work. I say this and I say again. The dignity of a man is in his work. Mm. What do you see? Oh, I see God giving me a million dollars. You have seen wrong. You have seen wrong. You, you, you said it last year and the other year and the other, other, other year. It's not coming. 
Because a million dollars will destroy you. If God gives it to you, he will waste you. But when you are purpose driven, you have a mission. I need a billion dollars for the kingdom of God because I have a mission for it. I have a plan. I need to invest exactly $3.8 billion in two ministries. Evangelism and apostolic ministry. $3.8 billion. I'm looking for it. How much do you have? Meaning that if you give me a million dollars, I know where it's going. So define yourself in your assignment. The best blessing you have is a mission. The greatest opening you have to the anointing is work. When God want to bless you, he gives you a different things to do. If you can do what God said do, you get there. You want to be a CEO, but you never want to work. Someone told me, oh, well, we work smart these days. We don't work hard. I said, look at how smart you are. Everyone who works smart works hard. Working smart is not having a laptop and a sitting by the swimming pool. You lose money. You got to read the book. You got to make the call. You got to plan. You got to strategize. You got to stay in the place where nobody is speaking. Because you got to think. You want your mind to be clear. God worked till he had to rest. Do you understand that? God worked till. You, it's the beginning of the year you're thinking of holiday. That's why people go nowhere. They're just marching. <laughs> Hear me. Some people are in business because they work. Others are in business because they occupy themselves. They are just busy with wine in the nest. <laughs> what do you see this year? I see a home cell. I see another one. I see another one. And I see another one. I see this. I will work toward that. Your year resolution should be work based. When you put target, it is a fulfillment of a cycle of work. I'll write the book, maybe my first. I'll write two. Maybe my second. Whatever the case may be. Now lift your hand again. Now pray defining yourself in your assignment. Somebody has to commit to be a good father. So far you have been an absent father. Not only physically but everywhere else. Someone has to commit to be a good wife. Not a talkative one. Somebody has to make a commitment and say, I'll be a good disciple. I'll be a good leader. I'll be the reason why the work of God in AMI is going forward. I receive it. Pray for that. Pray. Lord, help us. Lord, help us in the assignment given to us. Lord, I will not be tired to do good. In the name of Jesus. I will not tarry and get weary mm. to do good. Lord, every time the altar will call me, I will say yes. Every time I will be needed for the kingdom of God to go forward, I'll say yes. I will say. Lord, give me the strength. Yes. Lord. Give me the power. Mm. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray with me. Riata Tobo Shoto. As a pastor. I will pray more. I will love more. Jesus. I will name. tolerate more. I will, I will embrace more. In the name of I will Jesus. understand more. In Jesus I will name. teach more, oh God. oh God. I will do my follow-up. I will call those who cannot be reached Jesus. physically. I will make sure that the one shape that is missing is found.
Lord, I will put myself, I will study, I will develop myself, I will understand my trade, I will understand what is happening in the market, I will understand the strategies that is working right now. I will do a study that will give me an upper hand in my work. Lord, Lord, I want to define myself in my assignment so that the resources due for this assignment to be fulfilled. The name of Come Jesus. to me, oh God. I pray, I pray. I pray, I pray. Please, Lord. Lord, I pray. I pray in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Have a Lord. Have a Lord. Will you take your hands and lay them on yourself? I believe in the ministry of laying on of hands. It is a significant ministry in the spiritual realm. When things have to be communicated, imparted, and transmitted, this is one of the tools mostly used by God. So to pray over yourself. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. God is strengthening somebody in his mission because he has resources both in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm that has to come to you. Oh God. Sharababu Zoto, Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for you are doing something new. Thank you because there is an army. You, an army set by you to take over for Jesus Christ. Mm. Bless us all. Now, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And together we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. Please be seated. I am glad that you are here today. This is a gathering of champions. In this time, I know, as you have come through your leader in this place as disciples and leader yourself the lord will begin to lift you up i receive it the lord will begin to take you higher and I higher i receive and higher. it i remember days where i will be in the church and nobody knows me i remember moments where i knew that i'm not part of the cycle whatever is happening for me to tap into it i am too far but you see, when the hand of God is upon somebody and God says that uh, it is you I will use, this is concerning not me but you. God is speaking and saying, I will use you. Thank you, Jesus. I say, God is saying, I will use you. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hand as high as you can get if you can. Say, use me, O oh God. Use me, O oh God. Say it again. Use me, O oh God. Use me, O oh God. One more time. Use me, O oh God. Use me, O oh God. Resources will come to those who avail themselves to be used by God. The work of God is work. It requires an effort. If you are willing to walk the walk, if you are willing to be a vessel in the hand of God, he will pass through you. He will manifest his goodness through you. I he will it. manifest his glory through you. Jesus. I pray with my hand lifted towards you. You here and you watching us. May God see you. May God Jesus. pass through you.
I receive May God's it. anointing be your portion. In the name of May Jesus. God's glory come upon you. I receive May it. you be exalted by God as an instrument of this end time. I receive May God's it. glory and anointing manifest through you. I bless Jesus. you in the name of Jesus. I Where you are, I pray that God may locate you. There, 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 I there, 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 Jesus there, 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 Jesus there, there, I say, may God locate you. I may God locate you because you are the choice of God. My hands stretch towards you. Thank you you are born for times such as this. I and today I release the word of God over you. May I God hold you pick you from where you are and Jesus lift you name. up. I see God lifting somebody up. I was God is it. lifting somebody up. I was God is it. lifting somebody up. I was the new move of God will pass through you. In Jesus the new name. power that God has for this world will come through you. I the great it. thing that God want to do, he has chosen you for it. So shall it be. It cannot I say, be so otherwise. shall it be. In Jesus' so name. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. Somebody holler, I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now you see, moments like this when God is uh, moving and speaking to you, because I can sense in the Holy Ghost that God has located somebody. Mm. You know, the Lord say, I have found yes. David. He found him. He found him. Riamamoso to finding Thank is you, always a discovery in the spirit when one who is appointed respond positively and God's choice comes to pass. I this is the reason why the Bible says he will find a wife, not finds a woman, finds a wife right. because the woman who has been called to be a wife respond to his her calling aligned to it and before god becomes a wife before the ring is placed in a finger and whoever comes and meets such a person the bible say find a good thing meaning that find mm. treasure uh, the same happened when god calls somebody he called you you are born for it but you see your calling requires your response when My you God. respond to the calling you arise in it and then he finds you i found david Jesus. a man after my own heart lord is finding somebody today I the lord is finding it. somebody there is a leader that god is finding I there is a wholesale it. leader that god is finding there is somebody who is a part of the discipleship that god is finding today i was saying lift your hand again and say it is me it is me say again it's it me. is me it's me say it it's is me. me it is me in jesus name amen Today, I want to take you to the waters. I want to take you to what God set for you in a most practical and simple way. But as I take you there, my spirit is calling for something that has to go to you. Jesus. As I'm taking you there, I will release words. I will lead you to speak. We'll work it out together. When this time is over, impossible for you to remain the same. I receive it. After now, the deposit of God in you will lead you to a greater height. I receive it. Who am I speaking to? I receive it. I don't it. hear you. Who am I speaking to? I receive it. In so Jesus. shall it be. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now allow me to take you to a journey where I speak to you on what God spoke to a man and how the man lifted by God, chosen by God, spoke to his leaders and how the leaders spoke to the people. For if you understand how God spoke to a man and how the man that God spoke to spoke to his leaders and how the leaders spoke to the people you will understand that the vision is living and that you and I are right in alignment with what God is doing somebody touch your neighbor 
Say follow the ark. 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 Neighbor say follow the ark. Follow the ark. Follow the ark. Follow the ark. Follow follow it. Follow it. Follow it. If you came with a mind to be sleeping while I am speaking, you lied. Jesus. Because you will not. I say you will not. <laughs> now, we begin by reading the core part of what God has for us. And that is the book of Joshua chapter 3. We read verse 4. We read it together on the screen. At a count, Joshua 3 verse 4. 3 verse 4. Yeshua, Joshua, chapter 3, verse 4. At the count of three, one, two, three. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Do not come near it, that you may know the way by which you must go. For you have not passed this way before. God is taking us a place we have never been. Mm. And that tonight, as we go through the word of God, he will position us to take the right step in the right direction. Because where God is taking us, we have never walked before. Jesus. As I put you in the context of the scriptures, I pray that your spirit may respond to what God is saying in this moment. Joshua was a servant of Moses. He walked with his master, serving his master, not serving God directly. He understood that his mission in serving the one appointed by God was all that God wanted for that season for him to do. It is clear that you can never serve the God you don't see if you do not serve men that you can see. Right. If you will reject the serving of men, you will abort the mission of serving God. Here this Jesus Christ spoke and said that I will at the end say to many, I was in a hospital, you did not come to see me. I was in prison, you did not come to visit me. I was hungry you have not brought me food you did not feed me and you will say how because you see when we think divinity we take it abstract to something that is in the air while god manifests through what we see he say when that person was sick if you would have gone to help him you would have rendered your services directly to me are you hearing me Yes. So okay. Joshua served Moses. And it so happened that Moses' mission had ended. Therefore, it was his mission that I had to begin. How? How will you fit in the shoes of Moses? A man that God called. A man who had great training in Egypt. A man of great knowledge. A man who had an encounter with God. How will you begin to fulfill that which God said that man to do? Hear me. For every assignment, God reserves the ability for those who say yes to it. Amen. Amen. When God gives you an assignment and you say yes to the call, he will give you the ability, the capability to run the race. I will say that. Oh, well, I'm too shy to do this. I'm not exposed. I do not have enough resources. I don't even have a house of my own. How will I run a home cell? When you say yes to the call of God, doors will begin to open. The rest will be done by God. I will say that. All that God requires of you and I is to say, yes, Lord. When you say, oh Lord, my body is failing me, my health is failing me, 
but I say yes to the call. By virtue of you saying yes to the call, your body will be fixed for the call. Mm, mm. You have given meaning to what you have in the physical realm. Now, Joshua is called by God and God began to speak to Joshua after Moses. He's dealing with Joshua and I want us together to read it from uh, chapter 1 verse 1 and we'll read the entire chapter. God speaks to Joshua, empowers Joshua, gives Joshua the direction that he requires. Then Joshua takes over and speaks to the officers. He speaks to the leaders. Because you see in the ministry, in the kingdom, the system of God, it is always from one to another. It was this man called Nicolas Sarkozy. Some of you know him as the, the former French president that said every grouping of people, every assembling of people, every family requires a vertical leadership. He said the demand of adversity requires a vertical leadership where every time Anytime you come across two or three or four, one has to be lifted so the movement may go forward. The vertical leadership. And that this is so true with how God operates. He spoke through Moses. And after Moses is speaking to Joshua. At the count of three, join me as we read from verse 1 to give us the context. One, two, three. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord... It came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant. Please understand that the God spoke to Joshua after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord. Did you see that? Yes, man. Moses was what? The servant of the Lord. It came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant. Moses is known as a servant of the Lord in verse 1 and Joshua is known as Moses' servant. Mm. Meaning that Joshua focused to serve Moses. You are not lowered when you serve a man. Because you see, you serve God through serving a man. That's right. Don't feel too small because I'm serving. I served my mother in the Lord. I served my father, though I did not have an opportunity to serve him as I would have wanted. But my mother, I had full opportunity to hold a hand, to carry a bag. I was everything. I, I, I was at everything. I made sure Jesus. that I, I relaxed, I massaged her feet. I served her. And if you would have asked me that time, I would not say that I, I am a servant of God. I would say I am a servant of Johanna Verno. Mm, that was great before God. Mm. Verse 2, the Bible says, Moses, my servant, this is God speaking, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise. Go over this Jordan, you and all these people. God is speaking to Joshua. God speaks today. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Speak. Unless you hear from him, you can't pass anything down. Mm. Yes. Everyone leading must get his marching order from a power that is higher. I receive. The reason why you're fasting is not because I want you to miss your meal. You're not eating. The beautiful meal that you have at home has nothing to do with me. But if I stood here to speak to you about the 40 days fasting and all of us around the world, it's because he said so. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I have just passed on to you what I heard from him. God is a speaking God. Right. Touch two people, say, my God speaks and is speaking now. My God speaks and is speaking now. My God speaks and is speaking now. And is speaking now. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Verse 3. 
every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given you as I said to Moses mm. as I said to Moses yes there is a continuity yes God is carrying on the same he said from the wilderness and uh, this Lebanon as far as the great river the river Ephrates, all the land of the Hittites and the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory you see when God is uh, mapping what is yours all you have to do is I receive it Oh, Jesus. May I you take possession it. of what the Lord is showing you. I receive it. May you get where God say you will not get. I receive it. You see, God has a way to tell you things that are not yet in your hand, but they are spiritually already yours. Mm. Physically, all you have to do is hurry. Take possession of your possession. May you take possession of your possession in I Lord. receive it. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Show God your hands wherever you are. Say, Lord, use my hands. Lord, use my hands. I can't hear you say, Lord, use my hands. Lord, use my hands. To take over. To take over. To conquer. To conquer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I shall possess my possessions. I shall possess my oh, possessions. Oh, say it louder. I shall possess my possessions. I shall possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory to Jesus. You are destined for greatness. I will say. If only you will understand now what God said for you to have, you will know that whatever problem you have is nothing. Mm. And I tell you about somebody who say, I don't like you. And you want to make it a problem. If you don't like me, it's okay. There are 8 billion people on earth. Reba Life city. doesn't revolve around you liking me or not liking me. Well, I have a problem, you know. Some people don't like me here. So what? So Who told what? you that they all like you? Mm. They cannot like you. You are too big for them. They cannot I handle you. How that. are they going to like you? How are they going to like you? They feel I like you are taking over. That. Oh, yes. You are taking over. Can I hear somebody jump up the seat and say, I am taking over. I am taking over. Oh, I can't hear you say, I am taking over. I am taking over wave to God Jesus. I am taking over I am taking, taking over. over I am taking over I'm taking in over. business I'm taking over in ministry I'm taking over in the community I'm taking over in I'm my family taking I'm over. taking over financially I'm taking over I am taking over I am taking over in the name of Jesus Amen from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Ephrates, these people came from slavery. They don't know what God is talking about. <laughs> All the land of the Hittites. Look at them driving that car. Driving and living in those houses. God said, All the land of the Hittites. <laughs> Look at them sitting I in those offices. It. Hear me. They are sitting where you're supposed to be seated. Going there. There is an eviction notice issued to everyone Name who of is Jesus. sitting where you ought to sit. One, two, three. Fire. Whoever is holding your money. Recabosete. Your money will serve God. Your I money will build the kingdom of God. That. Your money will establish the work of God. Whoever is holding your money. One, two, three. Fire. I will save it. To the great sea. Toward the going down of the sun. Shall be. Just a matter of time. Mm. I say just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. 
shall be mm. your territory. I receive it. I receive it. Let those who are driving now drive. You are about to drive I the best way that driving has to be done. Some people drive cars as if they're walking. Wait, your time is coming. Wait, wait. My time is coming. Wait. Wait. I just said. Your time is coming. My time is coming. Hey. That's it, people say I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. I'm I feeling am feeling it. it. I'm Something feeling is it. happening. I am Something is it. happening. I am feeling Something it. Something is happening. Don't be jealous. I I'm am feeling, feeling it. it. My testimony is coming. Oh yes. My celebration is now. I receive it. I will sing a new song. I receive My breakthrough has come. My MFP is now. Multiple front breakthrough. In the I will name drive of good. Jesus. I will dress good. I will live good. Oh yes. I will eat good. I will fly good. I receive it. Verse 5 the Bible says, This is to God speaking, and no man shall be able to stand before you. <laughs> there are certain things that God says, it takes you time to digest it. And you don't want to say it too loud because you know what you to make them feel. I just pray that God may give you the courage to say it, that they may hear it mm -hmm. anyway. No man shall be able to stand, stand before you me. all the days oh, of my life. I can't hear you make a Holy Ghost crazy noise. This is not my word. This is God's word. This word is for you. This word is for me. I will treasure this word. This is the word God has given this man who did not know how to navigate is a word that God is giving me. And that this is a word called a promise. No man shall be able to stand before I will see that some days. All, All the, the days. days Oh, of my, my life. life you are dangerous i say you you, you are dangerous. dangerous you are touch not of the lord i receive you are touch not of the lord I receive somebody had i am dangerous i am dangerous the devil don't mess up with me don't don't mess don't, up with don't me mess up don't with you me, mess up with me i said don't you don't mess up you with me mess up do with those me. cheeky cheeky out there don't you mess up with me. me. I am a different breed. I oh, am yes. a set apart. I, I am it. a serving, servant, anointed my by God. God, carrying his anointing. And he said, Do my prophet no, no harm. harm. Who am I talking to? I will say that whoever dares you will come across this verse. I receive it. When you hear a word like this, you let it pass, it passes. But when it comes and you seal it in your life, you become big in it and through it. I receive it. Suddenly, they come against you. But one way, they are scattered in seven different ways. The enemies that you know, the enemies that you do not know, makes no difference. Because they all stand to fall before you. Jesus. The word of God is invested in you. When you go to varsity. I receive it. Go with this word. I receive it. When you go waiting for the bus to come and take you from point A to B. Build yourself in this word. I receive it. In the family gathering. In view of all the wizards that want everybody down, keep yourself in this world. I Whoever will tries it. you this time, one, two, three, fire! One, two, three, fire! Glory to Jesus.
Jesus. Be kind. When you come across the devil, tell him kindly, leave me alone. I'm nothing you have ever seen. Nothing you have ever come across. I will mess you up from morning till noon. Do you know there are people, don't try them. Oh, yes. You lose appetite permanently. You lose sleep permanently. You have palpitation permanently. You are going, doing your own thing, you just hear Alf. <gasps> My God. One, two, three. Fire. <laughs> no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with your spiritual father, there must be a connection between you and your spiritual oh, father. Yes. Uh, because it is as, 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 the reference is him. The reference. That's why we say that your spiritual father is an indication of where you're going. Your biological father is an indication of where you're coming from. My father mm. is an indication of where I came from. Mm -mm -mm. He's living. Some of you do not even know him. Don't know his name. But my spiritual father, you know. Because it's an indication of where I'm going. I was saved. Are you hearing? Your spiritual father is your reference. Your reference in the spiritual realm. Now this I say, I believe this. That's what I say that. You know that when the devil gets ready to attack you, he checks first who your spiritual father. That's right. If he hears that you are a my Afro cow is involved, he washes his hand and say, no, I'm out soul. of this. I don't like things like this. I'm going. I'm leaving. This is too hot to handle. <laughs> because, yeah. Hey. It's my commitment. I will never stand before God not knowing how to answer for you. Now, God bless you. I will pray for you. I will fast you. I will motivate you. I will push you. I will provoke you. I will build you. I will inspire you. I will tell you that the devil is under your feet. I will tell you that greater is he that is in you than he who is in this world. I will come till three to hear you say, Fire! That's what we do. And we mean it. He said, I will not leave you. No forsake you. Hallelujah. Be strong and of good courage. Mm. For to these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I sold to their fathers to give them. Huge responsibility in the call of God. That's why some of us cannot afford to be distracted. We can Huge responsibility. Yes. We're handling generational blessings. My God. What God spoke to mm. our forefathers, God spoke to his people. My Jesus. And he chose us as vessels. I count myself blessed to be able to wash your feet. Jesus. It's my responsibility. Come myself blessed. I don't need any thank you for praying, standing, and doing. No, no, it's such a privilege. I'll pay you just to give me an opportunity to serve you. It's such an honor. It's such an honor. Verse 7. Only be strong and very courageous. God is with me, has given it to me, but he wants me now. I want to be strong. I need to be strong. Leaders, you need to be strong. Homestead leaders, you need to be strong. Disciples, you need to be strong. You need courage to keep on moving. Yes. Nobody say it will be easy. Nobody. 
You have to beat your failure. Your uh, fears. You need to beat your own limitations of yesterday. You must put yourself and push yourself forward. Challenge yourself. What is it that you want to do now that is better than what you did yesterday? Mm. How is it that you will go in, you will flow? What will you change in your prayer life? What will you change in your commitment to God? What will you change in your giving to God? What will you change if you change nothing? You have not grown. You have not remained where you used to be. You have gone down. Right. Because life has a force that pushes us backward. You have to make an extra effort for you to move forward. And no more effort keeps you stagnating in one place. Mm. Be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you know the will of God is that you prosper I wherever, wherever you go. I go. You go to the east, you prosper. prosper. You go to the west, you I prosper. prosper. You go to the south, you prosper. prosper. You go to the north, you I prosper. prosper. You are in the center, you I prosper. prosper. I decree and I declare. Prosperity will follow you everywhere you go. I receive it. Now tell me that prosperity is not part of the will of God. Sometimes we confuse prosperity and the message of uh, give me, give me, give me. When a preacher speaks about the message of prosperity and stands against it, he has missed either the, con the context of it, he probably wanted to address the abuse of uh, materialism when it comes to give if you give so much you get this that's not prosperity prosperity is the well-being that god wants for his children where they go forward they succeed in all the endeavor it is not limited to one but it includes everything yes financial your health your relationship your well-being in every area our message is a message set by God, which is a good news. And prosperity is a sustained message through the Spirit of God from the Old to the New Testament. Mm. If we don't speak prosperity, what do we speak? Poverty. Refuse it. Mediocrity. So understand and know how to divide or to distinguish between what the Bible calls prosperity and what we as people saw as excessive or abuse. But don't call it prosperity because when you say this prosperity message is prosperity preacher, let me tell you already now, I'm a preacher of power, I'm a preacher of prosperity, I'm a preacher of well-being, I'm a preacher of success, oh, I'm yes. a preacher of... And if you are not that, you are not crass. Crass was <laughs> the same. Yes. The anointing came that we may preach to the poor. Yes. Why? For them to be poor? Mm -mm. We come to announce to them, let the poor say, I am rich. This is not materialism. This is the distinction that I have to be clarified. This is not, give me everything you have, unless by the Spirit of God, he did it to me. Unless by the Spirit of God, give me everything you have so that I may be good, you may be well. No, no, not that. That's not prosperity. Prosperity is what the Bible say. Put it again, verse 7, and the sea, the, 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 the body of it. Only be courageous, be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to the law which Moses my servant commanded you do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left why that you may prosper that you may prosper that, that, that you may prosper is there anybody want to prosper oh yes I receive uh, it now this is what God is saying that you may prosper wherever you go if they send you to 
a desert, it shall become a paradise. I verse seven. Verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way poor. You make your way prosperous. Can't you see that this is what God's will is for you? May you prosper. I receive. I say, may you prosper. I receive. It. Whatever your hand finds to do will prosper. I receive. May you succeed in the name of Jesus. I may everything you do work in this new year. I receive. In the name it. of Jesus. Jesus. For then you will make your way prosperous. Who's making your way prosperous? Yourself. Yes. As you apply the word of God. For then you will make your way prosperous and gain. You will have good, good success. success. Nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. Nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God is with you wherever I go. When you go to Soweto, God is with you. In Alexandra, God is with you. In Rosebank, God is with you. In Santan, God, God is with, with you. Me. In Romberg, God, God is, is with, with you. Me. In Midrain, God, God is with me. When you go to Limpopo, God is with you. In Giyadi, God is with you. In Pumalanga, God, God is with when me. you go to Senegal, God, God is, is with, with me. Wherever you go, it doesn't matter. When you enter the plane, God is with you. Oh, when yes. you go to the airport, God, God is, is with, with you. Me. Wherever you go, God say, Yes. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my precious in the Lord, this is God who has chosen a man. And God is a communing with the man. God is speaking to the man. And God is positioning the man, is strengthening the man, giving him the right formula and strengthening him through his promises. After the man has received, has received, has received, has received, and received, verse 10, the man begins to speak. And the man is speaking to other men. Then Joshua commanded. The officers of the people stop there. You can only say after you heard. A prophet that does not hear will mess you up with his views and opinions. Right. When he says, I see blue. <laughs> It is all in his mind. There is My no God. blue at all. <laughs> but when a prophet hears and tells you I see blue, even if on the outside you are red, there is some blue in you. My God. The desire you always have to have is load, download. Give me your mind. Yes. For your output can only be effective as your input. While you enjoy dishing it out, focus in receiving. Are you hearing me? Amen. Verse 1 to verse 9, God spoke to him. Verse 10. He began to speak. Then Yeshua, Joshua, commanded the officers of the people. A command is an instruction. Is a word given for direction. A word given to tell you what to do. Now, he could have not commanded the officers if the officers were not there. Mm. And you cannot have the officers unless there is a structure. 
the kingdom of God has structure. Already those days, he was commanding a group of men with women and children. The census, according to Bible scholars like you, most of you and me, agreed that he had under his command plus manas 600,000 men. Now, I'm being kind to say plus manas because some give a more firm number of men, men of war. They say he had under him 603,550. It's not a prophecy. Study, you will know it. <laughs> oh, well, my father is going. I see six zero zero three five five zero. No, <laughs> this is just theology. This is just studying the Bible. Are you with me? So it means that uh, the crowd was made of millions of people under him. And they were all structured. A church stands because it is a body. Not an organization. Emma, you are not an organization. Right. We are an organism. Right. Yes. We are a living entity. Mm. But that is structure. Just like a body of a man. Is made of many members. But it's one body. He commanded the officers. The officers is talking about, he refers to you and I. You are an officer, as a minister, as a pastor, as a home cell leader. You are an officer. And I believe that God want to make all of us today here officers that will hear from him I receive through it. his servant Name of do Jesus. you know that the best way God speaks to you is through your spiritual father through yes. speaking to you do you know that yes I believe some of you pray and say Lord speak to me and it's quiet it's not quiet it's waiting the day I'll stand here Oh, yes. The Bible. Mm. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. When God speaks to you, His voice sounds like me. I receive it. If it doesn't sound like me, don't think twice. Twice. One, two, three, fire, 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 fire. Eli was a cover for Samuel. Mm. Samuel, the child, birthed to prayer. God called Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel went to Eli. I said, My father, did you call me? The father said, no, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. He went to bed. And God called him again. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel went to Eli again. He said, no, you called me. He said, no, I did not call you. Go back to bed. He went to bed. He heard again, Samuel, Samuel. He went straight again to his spiritual father. Now the spiritual father probably said and said that. I'm not calling this boy. But he keeps on coming to me. Who else hmm. can call him using my voice? God. He right. says, oh, next time you hear the voice, this is how you answer. Say, here I am, O oh Lord. Yes. Start hearing the voice of God and it's sounding like that Samoma next door. It's not God. It's not God. Call fire quickly. Fire. One, two, three. Fire.
when Joshua was speaking to the officers, his authority was based on what he got from God. And therefore, what he was giving them was the word of God, the instruction of God worthy to act upon. Saying, verse 11, now hear this. Pass through the camp and command the people, saying, Prepare provisions for yourselves, for within three days you will cross over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you. To possess. Mm. It sounds prophetic. The prophet are officers who did not hear God. They heard Joshua who heard God. Yes. Because they heard Joshua who heard God, the prophecy is valid. That's right, I receive it. If I tell you what God is saying, that you should see in your home, you are a prophet and you have prophesied accurately. Oh, yes. So when you go home with that word, have some attitude. I tell you today, as I was in church, the Lord began to minister to me through my spiritual father. And today I stand to tell you, in three days, daddy get ready, mommy get ready, prepare food, make sure that we have in commerce, make sure that everything we need is in the house. My God. Because God is about to move and take us out of this. I speak in the name I of Jesus. Receive it. As you say it, it will happen. Why? Because your father heard God. You should bless Jesus. God for your father. You should bless God. He gave them a word. Read it again. Verse 11. Full. One, two, three. Pass through the camp and command the people saying, prepare provisions for yourself. For the three days you will cross over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Verse 12. And to the Reubenites and the Gadites, the half of the tribe of Manasseh, Joshua spoke, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is giving you rest and is giving you this land. Mm -hmm. it. Your wives. Carry on. Your wives. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on the side of the Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all your mighty men of valor, and help them until the Lord has given you your brethren rest, as he gave you, and they also have taken possession of the land which the Lord your God is giving them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses, the Lord's servant, gave you on the side of the Jordan toward the sunrise. It's passing the word with accuracy. And you will note one thing. It kept on referring to Moses. 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 Where are you getting everything you say? God is a covenant keeper. Yes. God. Even when prophetically speaking to you, his foundation is the covenant. Moses. In one chapter, Moses has been mentioned by God, by Joshua to the people countless times. You can't have a full day conversation about anointing, about the prophetic, about your destiny, about your call, without mentioning your cover. Elf local. Right. Biblically, 
it shows that something has no root. You have no root. For if you were not superficial, you will understand that how it works. That's why you hear me speak about Jacques André Vernon. Some of you do not know even how to pronounce Sadhu Sunda Singh, but you're trying, you're trying. I appreciate the fact that you try Sadhu Sudukuzu, but you are trying because your father speaks of his reference. Very quickly, God spoke to Joshua. Joshua spoke to the officers and they replied to him. Verse 16, hear this. So they answered Joshua, saying, All that you commanded us, we, we, we'll do. we will do. We will do. Wherever you send us, we will go. Is there anybody who's answering the call of God through his servant and say, whatever you command us this year, we, we will, will do. do. Wherever you send us, we, we will, will go. go. Yes, I will say. A disciple does this. As a disciple, God spoke to us the code of this year. He said, connect to the altar. Follow the prophetic whatever you command us we will do obedience mm. wherever you send us we, we will, will go. go they're not speaking to God they're speaking to the one God is using the one God has chosen the one who's leading this year follow what your altar will tell you yes I play with you I want you to understand that this is to help you and to have the vision of God. If God says this is what we do, don't go left, right, and center. Yes. You cannot be a disciple and do things according to inspiration. Which inspiration? Your inspiration is embedded in what God is saying, in submission. This is the direction. You do things that doesn't represent this altar. Where they say do not lay hands, you lay hands. Where we say lay hands, you don't lay hands. When they say come to church, you don't come. A disciple must hear, yes. live in obedience. Every disciple in AMI, hear this. This should be your answer. Yes. All that you command us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. Mm -hmm. When you do this, you fall in the line of authority. Right. The centurion men say, I'm a man under authority. I say to one, go, he goes. To another, come, he comes. It's a spiritual law. Do you know the implication of saying, receiving an instruction from God and deciding either not to do it or to do something else? It's a stain in your spiritual life. Last. Obedience does not, in God, in the context of God, obedience does not break you. It doesn't destroy you. Don't leave. It's me. I have ideas. In the kingdom of God, all of us, I live in submission. I hear and I say, I told us fast for 40 days. I'm not fasting for 40 days. I say break your fast this way. I am not necessarily breaking my fast like you. There are times where I just want to be with my family. There are times where I just want to just relax. I live in obedience. I live in submission. Right. Some of us do not have a life anymore. We are literally what Paul say, I died in Christ. If I live, it's no longer I who lives. It is Christ who lives in me. Amen. So when you are expected to do something this year, commit to do it. It doesn't cost you much to attend that home cell, to call that person, 
to come to church, to do this, to God ask you to do this because he knows what he will give you. Amen. Every time you obey God, you become bigger. I receive it. Spiritually. I receive it. We carry on. Just as we heeded Moses in all things, now they're speaking. As we followed Moses in all things, these are people who started a long time ago to follow. Right. In all things. So we will heed you. Mm. You know, you always see me with my son, the general. General Wise Man Gabriel Magasela. We worked a long walk. A long walk together. We fasted many 40 days together. We gave many seeds to God together. Mm. My son has always been there. Glory to Jesus. And hear me. Being there, he does everything I tell him to do. And never did I see him regress in life. I keep on seeing him progressing. He's a big man. Big Glory man. Glory to Jesus. He's a chairman of one of the most prominent company in the country that employs far more people than most of the companies you see in Sentin. Thousands of people with branches across Africa. A company worth billions. But my son, we go to an hotel because I'm traveling, the key, the key of my room is never in my hand. It is in his hand. Glory to Jesus. He has people working for him, but when he's there, just like I was doing with my, my spiritual mother, I don't drive, he drives. I don't carry my bag, he carries my bag. But yet, his, his hands know millions. Jesus. Do you understand that? <laughs> Obeying God makes you better. I it makes you stronger. I don't recall one day, I say this before God. I don't recall one day I disobey my leader. I don't. I remember not agreeing fully. <laughs> but even when it was tough, because I always remember. Yes. Obey swiftly. Thank you, Jesus. Getting out of my way to fulfill God's command through his servant. I don't remember my hand lifted. One day, directly or indirectly, I disrespected or dishonored one who was above me. Mm. Never. No matter what. No matter what. To date, I do not know anyone out there, fathers of, in the body of Christ now, I do not know anyone who has a, a direct problem with me because of my character. No. All of them. Develop a culture of obedience in such a way that you become an asset. You become a tool. They call you three o'clock in the morning, yes, you are there. Three o'clock in the morning, yes, you are there. Some of you call you 9 p.m. <laughs> but yet when they say, receive prosperity, I receive it, you miss it. <laughs> you missed it. There is a price to pay. Oh, Jesus. Verse 18. They say this, whoever rebels against your command 
and does not heed your words in all, not some, in all that you command him, shall be put to death. Hey. <laughs> it's serious. And this is the people themselves, the officers. You know, in the AMI, we don't have these things, so now this group does not like leadership, and that this, uh, we don't have those things. We don't. And I thank God for that. There are places where division is so rooted, rooted, this group, we don't have that. And I thank God for that. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Because we live in love. We live as a family. We live connected to one another. Thank you, Jesus. And not me, but we do not permit that. We have seen people ejecting themselves because they cannot fit in. They feel like, a, well, they find a way out. And we say, bye, yo. <laughs> we will never miss a service because you left. Never. No, you're not that important. Never. No day of remembrance of you left. No, it never existed. <laughs> we'll carry on our lives as if you were never here. <laughs> ourselves just like them My they God. say we will not permit such a thing there are people who come there they feel very important they they, they come and uh, no me i don't mean me, me uh, first naturally me god protects me because i don't like that and i don't hide that i'm very brutal i'm an apostle i'm very brutal naturally i can root somebody out of my altar right in the middle of speaking preaching Ah, that. <laughs> there are certain things you do out there. Me, you know. When you look at this, you say, it's too anointed for this. Because I will deal with you in a way that uh, you forget your name. You go in there and say that, Granny! Ah, hey! <laughs> do that in my house. Do that with my cars. Never on my altar. Thank you, Jesus. Never. You lie. You lie. <laughs> it carries on they say you be courageous now read chapter 3 we have seen this man chosen by God hearing from God and passing it on to people now something happens that you and I need to hear and begin to pray chapter 3 verse 1 Joshua 3 verse 1. Joshua 3 verse 1. While well, we get it there, oh, thank you. Then Joshua rose early in the morning and they set out from Acacia Grove and came to the Jordan. He and all the children of Israel and the Lord there before they crossed over. So it was after three days now after three days what happened that the officers did what went through the camp who went through the camp the officers if you read chapter one as we read joshua commanded them to go through the camp and he told them what to tell the people and here we jump chapter two because there is operation he sends two spies in harb to spy the land and so forth. Now we're coming here. So it was after three days that the officers went through the camp. I need you to go through the camps. Please. God has anointed you to go through the camp. Every own cell must be alive. Amen. The word of God given to you must go through every structure. Every AMI 12 must receive this. The walking through the structure must be done by you. You are God's tool as an officer. You have to take it over. The officers went through the camp, verse 3, 
and they commanded the people who commanded the people the officers they got it from who from joshua who got it from god i get it i give it to you pass it to them my ami 12 my first generation my officers you get it pass it to the rest if you will stop it you'll become the reason why the kingdom the house the vision will not be whole they commanded the people saying when you see the ark of the covenant of the lord your god and the priest and the levite bearing it then you shall set out from your place and go after it to follow the ark somebody say follow the ark follow the ark this is what they went to say here god has promised our deliverance but we need it we need to follow the ark when you see the ark just know it is your cue mm, mm. for the deliverance promise for the multiple front breakthrough yes. promise follow the, the ark. ark the ark of covenant Jesus. the ark carrying the presence of god follow the ark what are you following mm. don't come to church for you don't come to church for position don't come to church to show off don't come to church to rule jesus Glory come to, to jesus. serve hallelujah Go back to verse 3. Mm. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priest the Levite bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Touch two people, say, Go after it. Go after it. Go after it. You want to succeed? Go after it. Go after it. Your covenant is critical. I receive it. Now, verse 4. Instruction in going after it. He said, Yet there shall be a space between you and it. About 2,000 cubits of measure. Do not come near it. Not too close. My bishops come. My, my two bishops come. Come, come, come. Come. Pastor JP, come. You guys are this side. Come. Dr. Lebo, come. Come. Please come here. I, I want to illustrate this. I want to illustrate this. The word of God. Now, they are carrying the book. The Bible said the priests are carrying the ark. Will you two come this side? You come be in front, come this side. They are carrying the ark of covenant. And Joshua, you, you look like a good Joshua. <laughs> Speak to the officer and say, follow the ark. First part of the instruction. And as he's setting himself out to follow the ark, he comes with verse 4 and say, Yet, not too fast, there shall be a space between you. Don't, don't just get too close to it. Yes. But I need to explain to you why. His instruction is here is a Joshua represented by the officers. He is the one who heard God pass it to his people who represent him and spoke to those who are the people and said to the people, as you follow this, don't get too close. Follow it, but keep your distance for two reasons. He explained, he said, one, do not come near it that you may know the way by which you must go. Now, can you take a few steps, uh, uh, priest? 
just a few steps going forward. He say, you follow them. You get your cue from them. You go after them. Keep on going. Keep on going. You, you follow them. Make sure that you do not go too fast. You do not also lag behind. Mm. Just, just, just follow them. The pace must be good. Uh, I'll stop there so I can speak a little bit. Thank you. He explained, he said, do not come near. Why? Because you need to have visibility. If you are too close, you may no longer see the ark. He said, you gotta keep it in sight. Mm, mm. So that you may know the way you should go. I told you, millions of people are here. 603,550 men of power who can handle weapons. With women and children, if all of them had to be closed, some would be in front, yes. some would be this, and it will no longer be clear who is leading who. My goodness. There is a place for your leader. Jesus. Don't mess up with it. Leave your leaders there. Do not come and cloud the leadership with friendship. Mm. No. Do not cloud it. Because you will no longer know who's leading who. Well. That's right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You see? That you may know the way by which you must go. Allow them. So you know, okay, these guys, these are the signal. These are the signal. Where to go, you go. You know, one of the reasons why we have been taught, I was in the assemblies of God and that where I grew. We've been taught to pray for our pastors and our leaders. And the, the best way presented to us was, what happens in their lives is an indication of what is happening spiritually to you. If he's in tears, your life will never be blossoming right. in joy. When you see your leaders prospering, it is a cue for your prosperity. This is how it has been presented to us. So I remember we used to pray and say, Lord, take them there. Because you see, God will never trust anybody to lead his people where he himself has not reached. Amen. Meaning, God will always first invest in leadership to go forward. I can teach you how to pray. You will feel the drive to pray. You know why? Because I pray. That's right. I will teach you giving and you will find it easy to give. You know why? I'm a giver. You can tell people what you know. You can only give them what you have. Mm. Are you hearing me? Amen. I speak to you about commitment. You will feel drawn to commit. Why? Because I am a committed man. Amen. Right. Leadership has to be there. If you get as people too close, you will overcrowd it. So it's a space. You want to sit where your pastor sits. You want to say what he says. You, you also want to show up. You, you also want to be. You want to every two minutes high five. Hear me. <laughs> be careful. Your man of God, your woman of God, your leader is not your body. I receive it. The day you make him or her your body, just know familiarity will kill your blessing. That's right. Leave him or her ways. I enter the private jet of my, my son. Beautiful. He told me about it. He said, Dad, I bought a second one. A nice private jet. That's what we do, by the way. So that... Glory to Jesus. Yeah, I'm telling you. So then I bought a second private jet and uh, I, I just did this and uh, this. He's excited about it. And he said, I want us to go to Europe and, uh, and so forth. Okay. So I went to 
the first time I looked at private jet and all his team that were there, uh, dad is here and so forth. Wow, it's beautiful. Very beautiful, extremely beautiful, extremely. Be not, not the kind of private jet when you go up, you start thinking Jesus is coming. <laughs> <You are. laughs> Do I walk to the shadow of the Lord of the death? I fear no evil. No, no. <laughs> you, no, no, the kind of private jet you are there, you feel like a whoo. Glory to you. Don't be jealous. Just Ooh. celebrate the Lord. <laughs> celebrate the Lord. Now, look at this. I walked in. Is it's jet, it is his, and it is branded, it's nice. We get to the man's seat. There is a man's seat, by the way. There is an area that is a man's seat. Okay? So you will know if you know it. You know that, okay, this is a seat. <laughs> that is his world. He's a big guy. He's my son, yes, but he's a big guy. That is his world. I enter, it tells me that, please sit here. I said, no, you can sit, it's okay. He said, no, 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 no. How can I sit here? My father is in a flat. Oh, wow. Never. Oh, wow. Never. Mm. I had no problem. The jet was nice for all of us. Every seat was good. Mm. It is a seat. I said, no, son, you can. He said, no, that sit here. I said, no, sit there. I'll be next. <laughs> He said, how can I sit in this mm. when my father is in a jet? Oh, no. Mm. I went to see a person, a head of state. And we said, I was with uh, John and so forth. We said, we, um, a great man, a great, great man, powerful man. We said, and he had a meeting. We came, we had no time. We're supposed to have very few minutes, like uh, 15, 20 minutes with him because of his agenda. And it was not a meeting plan. It was just like, okay, I'm still here. I'm supposed to travel. I didn't travel. And pastor is here. Can I see him? So we got there, set. 10 minutes. 15 minutes. 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Hmm. 40 minutes. I realize that I hear. If I don't close this meeting, <laughs> no one will close it. I say, I gotta go because you have a meeting. Oh, thank you very much. But coming out, there are certain people, they are high, very high, but they live as if they are low. Mm. But there are people who are not low, they are under. <laughs> <laughs> hey. They are underground. <laughs> But they live as if they hide. You see them walking in church. This is my seat. When we bought this seat, were you here? I mean. And I thank God. I, I really, with great humility and great respect to. He could not close the meeting. Could not. Why? Because he understands and values the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I was in Zambia. I went to see the president in Zambia. Sata. King Cobra. I was there with Mama Celeste. I know the president, former president May, so uh, yeah. I know he was a Catholic, but I'm born again. So you're a pastor? I say, yes, I am. I have my own priest. I said, I didn't ask you your priest. <laughs> the first meeting. My master was up. Uh, so why did you bring me here? <laughs> I said, it's King Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> I thank God for him. A very open man, very direct, very frank. At the end, I had the best seat in his office. We sat, we, we spoke, and things like that. I get the second example to say that not every president 
receive you in a certain way. Do you understand? And also to let you know that I meet a lot of presidents, just by the way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, this is God. He say, don't get too close, too familiar with your leadership. Right? So that you may not be confused of direction. Yes. If you're too close, you will not know where to go. Right. That's the first reason. You, you may be blurry. You do not know who is your leader. Mm. Don't get too close. And the second reason is, because without them you are lost. Mm. Why? Because you have not passed this way before. before. Meaning, in your system there is no reference right. to where I'm taking you. The only guarantee to get there is the ark. Mm. Preserve the ark. Yes. Handle anything that has to do with the ark with care. Yes. Everybody stand up. Mm. Thank you, my bishop. You are the best bishops ever. Lift your Glory hands. Glory to Jesus. God has placed you as an officer. He speaks to one and passes the message to you. He requires obedience. He requires you to pass the message onto the people. Yes. The Lord has spoken that he's doing something new in our ministry. Keep your hands up. We as the leadership and me as your father set myself to the project of the Lord that I know this year will change everything about our ministry. I receive the outlook, the inside of our ministry. If you will take a picture of AMI now. In a cup of mouth, nothing will be the same. Not even the seat you are sitting on. Glory to Jesus. Nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. God commissioned us to do something that we are all praying for. Is taking us where we have never been. Mm. Where is taking us is a better place than where we are. Thank you, Lord. Where is taking us is a place with greater honor to Him and to us. Mm. But it will require all of us in discipline and complete dedication to do what He's calling us to do. My precious in the Lord. It is time that you identify yourself in the work of God through work, not through position. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are chosen by God. You are here. You are listening. You are chosen by God. I receive it. Forget your shortfalls. Forget how good or bad you are, as you are, he has called you. As you are, he chose you. You have a place, you have a role to play. Lift your head and commit yourself to God. Mm. Oh. Lift your head and pray that God may use you. Pray and identify yourself in what God is doing. Kalababo Soto. Lord, I pray, pass through me for your people. Please, Lord. Pass through me, oh God, pass through me, pass through me, pass through Jesus. me. Pass through me, oh God, pass through me, pass through me. Pass through me, oh God. 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 Pass through me, Pass through me, O oh God.
Lord, we pray. I want all my first generation to come and stretch his, their hands toward all of us. For it will come from one to another and to another. Mama Shia. It is my sincere feeling that we are all officers today. All of us together. In different levels. This is the first level of officers. They hear what God is saying and pass it to others. But all of us are officers. Wherever you are, lift your hand as we pray. And my pastors, my A, my 12, stretch your hands. We pray together. Sharababo Korobo Soto. Sharababo Kerebesi Arababo Soto. Something happens through the ministry of laying on of hands. As we stretch hands today, the grace of God, the power of God goes through you. I will save it. Now this moment, lift your hand, every one of us. I want to lead all of us, including me and the those who are standing here, to a moment where we recommit ourselves. We dedicate ourselves and say, Lord, I identify myself in the work, not in the benefits of it. I want to commit myself to work, to serve. All that my Moses will command, I will do. All that my little will command, I will do. And everywhere I will be sent, I will go. Lord, I commit myself. I dedicate myself. Mm. My precious, as you do so, God is seeing. Thank you. He will count you worthy of the anointing. He will count you worthy of the gift of the Spirit. He will count you worthy of the resources of this time. Commit yourself. Commit yourself as a disciple. Commit yourself as a child of God. Commit yourself to serve in your AMI 12. Commit yourself to empty hell and fill up heaven. Jesus. Commit yourself to run after souls. Commit yourself to count in the kingdom of God. Pray. Speak to God and commit yourself. Speak to God, commit yourself. I will serve you, O God. I will serve you, O Lord. I will not stop. I will go all out. Wherever you send me, I will go. Whatever you ask me to do, give me the grace to do. Lord, I dedicate myself. My time is yours. I put you in the first place. You are my priority, oh God. What you ask me to do is priority. Jesus. Mm. Give me the power, the strength, the ability. Yababa Soto. Name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, oh Lord. Yababa Sete. Oh God. Now take your hands if you can put them on your head. The Lord God who calls us anoint us. The anointing is for mission. If there is no mission, the anointing is not necessary. Pray, say, Lord, equip me, anoint me, equip me, anoint me, equip me. Ria Rabba Soto. Bring the Holy Ghost. Sharababo Soto. Give me what I need. Give me the wisdom I need. Give me the endurance I need. Give me the power I need. Give me the strength I need. Lord, equip me. Release your power in me. Release, oh God, your power. Release your power in me. Lababo Soto. 
I am given, I am given on the altar. La Baba said, give me, oh God, the resources I require for the vision given. Pray the Holy Ghost, pray, 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 pray until your cup, your cup overflows, pray, pray until your cup overflows. Shalaba kotobo sete, zete rebe kotobo shikarababa kanta. Rama masoto kobo shete rebe kanta ya baba zete rebe koto bashekete bas. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed. For more information and resources, visit our website at www.alleluiaministries.com. For our prayer line, you may call the numbers on your screen. Tune in to our next broadcast. Stay blessed.